right now, even though that's hooked to the back of the truck. See, I'm going to put weight on that. It's about to ground something off of it. All right, I got the last little bit of upgrade that I want to do on this trailer before I go get the mini excavator down by Chicago. And I just picked this up on Amazon as well. I'll leave the link below. And again, I'm an affiliate, so I might earn a little bit of commission if you use these links. This is the final upgrade. These are stabilizing jacks, just like on all four corners of our travel trailer. I really like this style. You can just run it up and down with your cordless DeWalt driver. And I'm going to put these right under the back. Just sneaking out there so that they'll stabilize the back so it won't get a lot of tongue jump and drop the back end off when we run something up and down the ramp. So that will be a pretty cool upgrade. Oh, look at this. It comes with a nice little six inch level too. Those are always handy. And a fit. Probably pinch my fingers if I do this. Yeah, I'm gonna pinch my fingers. These are Rockman brand. And each one of them is good for 5,000 pounds, so these are going to be more than enough. The reason I chose this kind of stabilizing jack rather than the kind that are just a fold down and extension uh, is those kind of take two hands when you're underneath there. And the places where I'm usually unloading and loading things on here aren't always nice and paved like this. And I don't necessarily want to get down there in my knees in the dirt. And with these ones, I'll just be able to just reach underneath the edge like that and run them down and run them up so that should be pretty nice I'm gonna get out of this coat first so before I go laying on the ground under the back of this trailer I put on my high fashion shop coat here I mentioned I've had this Carhartt tour coat since 1988 now I might have bought this in 1989 actually it's seen better days it's seen some great days it's seen a lot of great days Here's another one. Here's everything I need to put this on. Got the stabilizer. I've got an 1160 force drill bit to drill the pilot holes for my quarter inch lag screws. I've got the lag screws and the washers. I've got a 716 socket on the driver there to run these home. And I've got a tape measure and a marker to mark the holes. Tape measure just so I can get it square with the back of the trailer. That should be as simple as that. It's not a very complex installation. Minimal tools required, minimal time required, I think. Let's do it. All right, the screw's gotta go outboard. And I want it, oh, that's perfect perfect length to where I can have this easily accessible from out here with the obviously with the other socket the bigger socket that came with this I can just put that right there and run it up and down and it's not sticking out far enough to obstruct my tail lights nicely centered on this this board here so I can I'll go ahead and mark that. Oh, and I'm not even going to need the tape measure to measure to make sure it's square because the, the back side of this bracket is going to be right up against the metal on the frame going across the back of the trailer. So it marks those two. Drill my pilots. And I'm drilling a hole, drilly, drilly hole, drilly, drilly hole. 
It's not really a drilly hole, is it? I guess that's diggy diggy hole. Sorry about that. Put that in. Oh, that's the trouble with a deep well socket. Much harder to defy gravity. Okay, I'm going to use a 7 16th shallow. Nah, I can do this. You will not beat me. Gravity hates me today. Feelings are not mutual. I still love you, gravity. All right, I got that one started. It's hard to drill, but I can smell that it went through a knot. It did not. Oh, it's cold out here. My fingers are aching already from handling all this cold steel. one and where's the jack you guys see where I left that jack behind me oh I think it's up on top of that trailer bone yep there it is So back there, halfway, halfway across that plank. Oh, just don't squeak on that side. Let me mark one hole, two holes, and then this one, and then this one. Oh, there. Would you like a demonstration? I think it's time for a demonstration. Alright, now you 
even though that hooks to the back of the truck, it's big, but the weight on that, it bounces around something awful and it makes everything just flop and wobble and clang. Torque on that trailer hitch, and it's just nothing good is going to come from all that. So, let's see how stable it gets with my, I like to call them stabilizers. Solid is that. Well, I'd say that nailed it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you both channel out.